Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted for the first time to be joined by Mark Dickinson. I spoke to you yesterday and I said I'm seeing you all over Instagram, social media. Everyone, Josh Taylor's tweeted saying that you're the next best thing and one to watch out for. Yeah. I mean, you've just proved it in there on your debut, man. What a punch, what a debut. How do you assess it? Um, like I said, that had nothing to do with power. That had to do with the work I've been doing in the gym, the stuff I've been doing with Ben, Barry and Lee. And what set it up was what happened, basically, do you know what I mean? I mean, you can't get a better debut right now. First round stoppage in front of your home crowd. I mean, you can't get better than that, can you? Definitely not. I can't get better, can't, cannot get better than that. Uh, thank you to everyone who supported me, everyone who's come out to um, buy a ticket tonight to come watch me and sport in there. It was unbelievable, do you know what I mean? I can't believe how loud it was when I walked through. So, nah, I'm just buzzing with it, man. Buzzing. When, when are you hoping to be out next? I mean, right now you're still buzzing. It wasn't much of a fight because, like I say, it was the first round. But, like I say, all the hard work's done in the gym. When are you hoping to be out then? As soon as possible. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just got to move on from that one now. Do you know what I mean? It's not something you can look back on and think, oh, I've done this. It's, you just got to move on to the next one and step by step, we'll get to the top. Mark, you've got a, a level head there, but when you get guys like Ben Davidson and, and what he's saying on social media, Josh Taylor, undisputed world champion of the world, what he's saying to me and what he's saying on social media, do you feel pressure or do you feel, what do you feel when you hear these guys speak so highly of you? They speak so highly of me, mate, because of how hard I work in the gym. Do you know what I mean? There's not many people going to be working harder in the gym than me. Uh, I, I learn, I, I listen good, do you know what I mean? Um, and that's what I'm doing in the gym and why I'm, and I'm learning so much off Ben, off Lee, off Barry, off the likes of Josh Taylor, Lee McGregor, you know what I mean? Lee Wood. I'm in the best, I'm in the best stable in the country, mate, by a while, possibly one of the best ones in the world. How good a coach is Ben Davidson? And I, I've been lucky enough to see what he does in the gym with Josh Taylor and stuff like that. And I've been lucky enough to spend a lot of time with Ben and Lee and, and Barry and stuff like that. So for, for a boxer, for somebody that's in there and doing all the analytics with Lee and, and the, the pads with Ben, how good has Ben as a coach? Unbelievable, mate. Best coach I've ever worked with, do you know what I mean? Just everything he says, I listen to and it works. Simple as that. I'm going to pull Ben in. Ben, come on, come in there. Tell me how good this kid is. He seems a bit modest, Ben, but how good is this kid right here? Uh, very, very good. Like I said before, I, I expect uh, an extraordinary career for him. Not just everybody expects. Every coach is going to say that. So, you know, the action's got to do the talking there. A durable journeyman, a 30-second job. Um, but, you know, straight back to the gym, week at home, straight back to the gym, working away. And it's the hard work, the commitment. Mark is probably out of anybody, not probably he is, out of anybody that I've ever worked with, he has the quickest rate of learning out of anybody that I've worked with. Um, just an example of that is he'll finish his session, he'll stay behind, he'll watch Josh Taylor, he'll watch Lee Wood, he'll watch Lee McGregor and pays dividends and, you know, pay dividends in his debut there and um, he'll pay dividends in a, in a long, as I say, extraordinary career. He's very, very humble. Like he says, well, come on a bit closer, Mark, sorry, the lens. Get, 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 get more wet, man. He suddenly broke a sweat. Um, he seems a bit modest than that when I was talking to him and stuff like that. Like I said to him, I see on social media and I said to him about like yourself and Josh Taylor and Lee McGregor and all these guys telling me how good he is and stuff like that. You said like he's going to have an outstanding career, but how do you keep a, a level head on that man's shoulders? Has he already got that or do you, Barry and, and Lee, do you have to sort of like keep him level? Do you know what is in boxing? The more you learn, and it, we're all learning, especially Mark's a, a key point in learning, the more you learn, the more, the more you realise you don't know. And the more he keeps learning, the quality fighters it is around, he knows he's aspiring to, to get to that level. When he's watching boxing, he's watching boxing in the proper way as a student, and he watches the likes of Canelo and people like that and sees the quality that they show in the ring against quality operators. So he knows the levels that he's got to take to get there. Some people delude themselves, they get a few wins and think they're on that level. They, have no, they can't even comprehend what that level is. But Mark understands what that level is, and that's what helps him keep keep a level head, humble, um, but also helps his development. Okay, I won't keep you much longer, Mark. One final word from you then about this crowd, your debut, the, the way in and stuff like that. You finally got it over the line, you finally made your debut, man. One final word from yourself. Uh, big thank you to everyone who's come out, uh, buzzing for the support, can't wait to keep it going for the future. Next up, is it, what's next for you then, Ben? I mean, you've got an absolutely stacked stable now, man. So what's, what's next for you? Yeah, uh, news soon. Will Cawley's just been announced on a November 13th card on the Eddie Earn Show in Sheffield. Uh, Shabazz will have a date soon. Um, Lee McGregor will have a date soon. So. Good stuff. Ben, thank you so much, Mark. Well done, my man. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you.